Namaste. Guys, I'm in such a good mood, even though it's really rainy out and very dreary and I'm really hungry because I've been here for hours, but I am so happy. Look at this. I got the evil eye. I got the purplish color and I got evil eye. Look at all those evil eyes. She had to hand paint them separately. I didn't think she was going to do so many, but I showed her a picture of the evil eye. First, I was going to get a yin and yang and an evil eye on one nail and a yin and yang on another nail. But then I said, you know what? I'm going to New York. I need the evil eye. We're doing a lot of flying, so I need the evil eye. <laughs> to keep the evil eye off of you, you need the evil eye on you, okay? I used to have a necklace that had the evil eye, um, but I'll be wearing my cross my crosses. Anyway, didn't you do a great job? And my toenails too? Should I show you my toenails? It's, it's kind of hard in the car, but I'll show it to you. Because I ride along. Because See? I know it's weird that I got red because I'm getting ready for Christmas. And I do red for Christmas. And red is good like for your red root chakra and usually I get red on my fingernails um, but we'll see we just, you know I gotta leave this on for a while this has got to be on for a while before I do anything um, yeah I'm just so happy and grateful that she was really good her name is Nancy and I told her what happened with the other one and because she was like soaking my nails as I was getting the pedicure that's what they do. That's why I usually do that twice separately. I, ne I never like to get my manicure at the same day as my pedicure because when they're concentrating on my feet, I don't want them doing anything with my nails, if that makes sense. <coughs> so that, was, that was a horrible cough. Okay. I just got to be careful because this car is coming and uh, this car. Oh. Thanks for not letting me go. It's really rainy and, and dark out. But, um, yeah, I wanted to take you guys on a ride along. Sorry I look a mess. I did put a little uh, foundation and lipstick, a heavy lip on, as you could see. But, um, yeah, it's really dreary out and rainy. So I was going to go to the store shopping because there's a big Walmart over here and get a couple of items that I need but I'm not gonna do that I need like tights I might have them somewhere I'm not gonna worry about it though like cuz I don't even know if people wear tights anymore under dress like stockings because I wear dresses for weeks I mean I'm not above pants I'm really not oh boy where am I one second, guys. I'm a little bit mixed up. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. That's why I didn't put it on a live. Because a live, you have to kind of take your eyes off the road. And I'm not going to do that. It's dreary out. I'm going to just be staring at the road as much as I'm dry. I just want to get back to where I live. And not worry about like I need to get airborne <clears throat> I need to get airborne um, because that really helps me even though I take balance of nature airborne helps with the flights because I'm getting I'm getting some kind of sick um, like everybody's getting like I don't know if it's um, allergies or just you know, like Devin was flipping out a little bit the other day because uh, yesterday, because I could, I, I went to the store and I bought pizza, you know, frozen pizza that was like from Italy. You know, I never saw it before, so I bought it from the fancy store and I made it, uh, made them. And I was like, I can't taste it. And he goes, Why? And I go, I don't know, maybe I have COVID. And he goes, Don't say that. And I go, Well, why can't I taste it? Everybody else can taste it. Connor can taste it. You can taste it. I put regular salt on it. I still couldn't taste it. I put um, onion.
onion, onion salt or garlic salt on it. I still didn't taste it. It was like a light taste. Uh, so, I don't know. But it was probably because I bought perfume. I bought perfume yesterday. I went to the mall because I want to bring my perfume. I want to have a travel perfume. Because um, whenever I travel it, you can never bring your perfume. So I was going to get this little gizmo that the lady was showing me. And they didn't have Michael Kors. I wear Michael Kors sexy. <laughs> um, I'm not crazy about it. So I was thinking about getting changing my brand. But I also um, use Prada. I, I've been wearing Prada. Um, I used to use Prada candy. But that does not, that smell does not stay on you. Why is this guy up my butt? I'm going to pull over for a second because he's literally, literally and figuratively up my butt. So I'm, I'm letting these two cars go. I feel like lighting some Palo Santo because my nails are done the way I want them to be done. Anyhow. Um, oh yeah, another thing in the nail shop that was really shady was, she goes, oh, I noticed that you have gel nails on your toes. Do you want to get gel again, shellac? And I was like, oh, oh yeah, maybe. Uh, how much is that? I thought she was going to say $5. She goes, I go, how much extra is that? Because I was already going, I knew my nails were going to be a lot, and <clears throat> my pedicure was called the Aloha, so that was going to be top-notch. Um, and so I said, how much more for shellac on your toenails? Um, and she said, $20 extra. I was like, uh, no, no. <laughs> Maybe next time. I said, no, not when I'm spending so much money, I'm going to be spending a lot on my nails. And the pedicure was a lot of money. I think it was... 75 um, but all together it was up there um, but you know what they did a good job so I'm not gonna worry about it but I usually just do my nails once a month and a pedicure once every two months um, but you know what I know people who do it every when I lived in New York I did it every two weeks, every three weeks, because you had to have a fill-in. Um, at least they, that's what they told you. But usually every couple of, oh, crap. I don't have a stop sign. You have a stop sign. I don't have a stop sign. It's just, I don't like driving in this weather, so I'm just trying to get closer to where I'm going. And I wanted to talk to you guys. I might pull over and do a Palo Santo. She said I'm really, really hungry and thirsty and I don't have anything in the car. I just have this old coffee from yesterday, which I might drink because I'm desperate. <clears throat> My throat is making weird sound, doing weird things. But yeah, self-care makes the world fair. You like this color? I haven't had purple in a while. I had blue a lot of times. Um, and then I had black for that whole month. And remember I told you black shuts off your chakras. So it's not good to even wear black um, all the time. You can wear it. I mean, I wear a black t-shirt. Uh, I wear my black t-shirts, but I try to mix it up. Sorry pay attention to the road. It's really terrible out. And when people um, put, put their when they put their uh, thing on what is it called? Their high beams on? or It's a, it's a glare and it's just like, to me it just looks like um, <clears throat> it just looks to me like a sun like the sun that so their headlights go into one for me especially
especially if it's at night and it just looks like the sun and it just I can't that's why I don't drive at night I try not to <clears throat> anyway Woo. yeah so I'm gonna be going to New York um, Wednesday I know I told you guys but it's a big deal Devin's having panic attacks about it uh, He's, of course, he's got his whole suitcase and everything packed, and I have a zero packed. So, I would try to work today, because I wanted to work today and tomorrow to try to make some money, because, you know, the trip is so expensive. Um, and there wasn't anything, it was only the bad school, you know, the school that I stopped working at. So, I was like, you know what, I'm not going back to it. I can't go back to it. So now I'm just going to get something to eat because I'm starving. I'll probably pick up something for Devin. Oh, I hate, I hate this turn, especially in the rain, but I'll be all right. So I got you guys with me. I know this is a video. Oh, that's a sign. The car in front of me has a license plate that says NYC. That's a sign. I look crazy. I look absolutely crazy. I look like um, I'm getting ready to put a wig on. Oh, that's another thing I gotta do. I gotta wash my hair because it's dirty, right? But then I have to dye it before the trip because I can't have this blue washed out blue. Hold up, hold up, guys, hold up. Wow, it is really terrible out. And I don't like being out when it's like this. Okay, I could do it, I could do it. I almost didn't do it. <laughs> it was scary. It was very scary. I have anxiety when I drive in the rain. Uh, anybody else have that? And then I have my windshield wipers going nuts. I'm at a place called Whataburger. And I usually get like a BLT with extra, with pickles on it. Um, extra crispy. But um, the last time I was here, I, I got like a kid's meal that was like a grilled cheese sandwich with pickles and tomatoes on it and that was really good that was really good too and their fries are equivalent here to um what are they equivalent to i just lost my thought because i'm so hungry um mcdonald's they're equivalent to mcdonald's yeah, so I'm going to try to work tomorrow if it's, if it's you know, one of the schools that I really like and it's a regular classroom job. Otherwise, I'm not going to worry about it um, because I got to get my stuff done. I, I'm, when I go home tonight, after this, I'm going to pack. Um, I, I do need a few things like stockings. Um, because if I'm wearing sh like shoe boots, because I can't wear my rubber shoes to the wakes. Um, so I have two dresses and then I'll, I'll also bring black pants just in case I don't, I feel stupid in the dresses. Um, but the main thing is to pack your medicine and your um, phone wire. And I mean, we're not gonna be there long mostly going to be traveling three planes on Wednesday layover in Cleveland I think layover in Dallas and then in Cleveland um, yeah because a lot of people think that I live in, we live like right near, near Dallas no we're six we're in a small little town <laughs> a small little town and it would take us six hours to get to Dallas. One time, Devin dropped me off at Dallas because I 
had to learn to travel by myself because he doesn't want to travel. And so I don't want to make that my, my sister Patricia told me, you better learn to travel by yourself unless you're not going to visit your kids and your friends and your family. Um, because Devin doesn't travel it, very rarely. Um, and so he, he drove me all the way to Dallas because it was the first time I was going by myself. And it was six hours in the car, oh my God. And then when we got, I got dropped off, he couldn't even come in with me. And I was like so scared. And, but I got over it fast um, because I made a lot of trips by myself. But the, the thing that we found out was don't go on a trip to Dallas. Don't drive to Dallas because on his way back, he got a ticket. And it was a big ticket. It was like a, you know, I don't know. He was going down the wrong road or something, and he got a big ticket. So that was really an expensive trip. And then it took him six hours to get there, six hours to drive back home. So that was nuts. Um, yeah, for, so for now on, I usually I fly by myself, but I won't fly out of the country by myself. Like, we're supposed to be going to Ireland, right? I will fly into New York, like I always do, into New Jersey, right, Newark, and, you know, h hang out with family and friends, and then go with Laura and Thomas from New York, and then Laura said to me, well, why won't you just go straight from Texas and, like, kind of meet us there? No, because I went to Aruba by myself, and a home from Aruba by myself. And I said, this is the first and last time I am ever going to leave the country by myself. Not that anything bad happened. Um, I had a six hour layover. <laughs> six hours in Dallas, right? But um, three hours in Aruba. But I was all by myself. And then I went and stayed in, in the hotel room. By myself I don't know why I did that it was weird it was my fault um, it was weird it was just weird so that's why I said in the trip when we go to Ireland I am straight up that's why I'm trying to save I'm straight one second guys one second sandwich. I think it's number 11. Okay, and did you want that as a meal or just the sandwich? Just as a sandwich. Yes, ma'am. And then can I have, um, as the meal, you have BLTs, right? Yes, ma'am. I'll take a BLT, well done. Um, can you add uh, extra tomato and pickles on that? I don't believe that the BLT comes with uh, pickles. A patty? Do you want to add a patty to that? Oh no, no, just the um, the bacon, lettuce, and tomato, and pickles. Okay. And you could do that well done, right? Like with the bacon? Yeah, like what? Well done, like burn, burn it. Oh, okay, yeah, I gotcha. Okay, and the uh, drink for that? Um, I'll take a diet uh, diet coke. And um, just a little ice. Gotcha. And Anything that comes that comes with fries, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can I have a side of onion rings as well? Okay. And I'll take. Um, do you have apple pie? Uh, yes, we do. I'll take one apple pie with that. Gotcha. Anything else? That should do it. Can you catch it? 
Uh, ketchup and salt pepper, please. And the uh, Katrina. Alright, Coke gonna be twenty one ninety three. How are you paying any cash and card today? Uh, cash. Okay, just go forward to that second window. We can just fill it out right over there. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry about that. You probably were like, how much is she ordering? The whole, my whole side of my car is soaking wet and it came in. I'm going to need some napkins. They don't, they don't, they never give you napkins anymore. They'll give you one with that big order. They give you one. So I'm going to have to ask, let me show you my seatbelt off. I know you're like, we don't really care, Katrina. It's cold rain, but look at it. All over the place. I guess I could just wipe it with my yeah, I wipe it. I'm wiping it with my arm of my jacket. But yeah, so guys, let me put you down.